My cat was in the sewer the other day and he pretended like he didn't know me. And he was like in there like this, like way down in there just looking. I'm like, Nacho! Screw it, I'm going home. And then once we got past a certain point, he comes out of the storm drain and then goes and gets in the one across the street. <laughs> he acted like he didn't know me. My cat. Anybody want a cat? <laughs> now I know where he's getting all those rats he chews the heads off oh, of. God. I had to get a new front door mat because the other one had too much depth. <laughs> Leia wants to know, as a fellow Floridian, what do we think of tourists? What don't we think of tourists? And they don't know where they're going on the roads, they don't use their blinker, they change three lanes of traffic, and you almost die! And then they call to me. You've been in a car wreck with a tourist. Oh yeah, I got rear-ended by this guy from New York. Hello! One paying attention, I don't know what the deal was, but I'll yeah, tell you totally what the deal totally was. my car. 100% I know what the deal was. Pokemon catching. They don't know where they're going. It's just like every other city. You're gonna die. <laughs> when I stop at the closest grocery store from where we work, it's packed. It is packed. First of all, all the food is gone. Then you get up to the checkout and their line is out the door and there's no parking in the parking lot. And they're trying to figure out how to pay. <laughs> Why is it different? Because it's different currency. Well, that's true if you're foreign. Now when you're actually out at a tourist place and they just kind of stop, and then look around. <laughs> I no. remember being in Oslo and I was trying to look at this map and then I just stopped and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm I like, look at these people. You're... And then I went over to the side and I'm like, I can't do that. Insane. Just the stop. Because then you're like, boom, and then you're like, oh, come just the stop. on. Like, move to the side. Strollers and ankles. Just because you're on vacation, you got a stroller, doesn't mean you can roll over my ankles. It doesn't. I am an old lady, and osteoporosis is just around the corner. What about the electric chair vehicles? The motorcycles? Yeah. I had a friend come visit me from New Zealand, and he was amazed by the number of ECVs. ECVs electric chair Yeah, he's like, if it's an ECV, I don't understand. Nobody walks here. And he wasn't wrong. Okay, I legitimately witnessed this. Uh -huh. I was at one of the theme parks, uh -huh. and there was a person in one of the electric chair vehicles beeping at the people in front of her to get out of the way. <laughs> Except we were all exiting going the exact same speed as the... Like, why do you have preference? Well, when they don't know how to drive it either, and they like to... Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. That was my toe. Oops. Have a magical day. A guy's yell in the ECB, and he's yelling at another guy. <laughs> the guy takes the key out of the ECB, throws it, and runs away. Oh my gosh! I like your ECB couples. And they're like doing this together. And they're like... <laughs> And you can't get past, no it's not me, they're in love and I appreciate it. Yeah, but have you ever seen like a line of ECVs and they're all going down the thing That's together? That's a parade. <laughs> and I have seen it, Homecoming. When I was twirling my baton behind the band. To what song? To Michael Jackson's Beat It. I love it when they're in big arguments. You're gonna enjoy this vacation. I paid a lot of money for this vacation. The kids all like, ah, ah. I told you it was over there. If you would just listen to me the first time, you got us all the way around. I spit all over you. Yeah, you I'm did. I'm so sorry. I know we annoy people when uh, we go over to their places too. That's very true. I'm pretty sure I'm annoying people right now. And I'm in my own home. Right, Toby? Thumbs down. He won't even look at me. I'll never forget like in Amsterdam. My friend and I, we were lost. So she went up and she's very direct and she's like, excuse me, do you know where this is? And he said, you people, you can't even say hello and ask me how I am. You just demand information. He was right because in our culture, we're just like, hey, do you know where this is? But like in other cultures... Wait, now you be from Amsterdam in Orlando asking me for direction. Hello, excuse me. Yeah? How are you today? Can we just get with it, please? Like, what do you need? Yeah. You're right. Yeah. yeah. And there, they, they have a little bit of courtesy before. Like if you're in Thailand and you're like, Swatika. And so you're like, Swastika? Swastika! <laughs> Swastika! It's an official greeting of hello. Yeah. But if somebody did that here, you'd be like, man, that's weird. Yeah. So I mean, it goes both ways. Yes, we find tourists annoying a lot of the time, but we're also very appreciative that they're here because if they weren't here, Ben and I probably wouldn't be doing the jobs that we're doing right now. Because I'm gonna tell you, this YouTube crap, it ain't paying the bills. <laughs> no. Nope. We haven't made any money from it. Not a dime. So tourists, thank you so much for visiting. We have a lovely life because of you. Yes. Oh.
I've literally watched a father have his son pee in an empty bottle in line at a theme park. I'm your tinkle in a bottle. We're not getting out of line.